What is going on fam? Hope you're all having a great day, afternoon, or evening. Today we're going to be coming at you with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about Satisfactory. More importantly, how to overclock your factory and how exactly you find items to do that. So we're going to jump right into it. So when I was going through and playing Satisfactory, the first thing I wanted to do was how do I make my buildings uh, faster? How do they you know, produce more resources? And so I didn't know how to do it until I found some really cool items and they are called power slugs. So as of right now, I know of there's three different kinds of power slugs. There's green, yellow, and purple. So those are the three that I have found and each power slug gives you different amount of power shards once you research them. And if you're wondering how exactly do you research them, once you go through, we're going to come back here. Once you go through and you finish tier zero, all five hub, up, hub upgrades, you will get what is called the MAM. And basically what the MAM does is it allows you to research items. That way you can get blueprints um, to, do, to create certain things. So whether that's creating cloth, whether that's creating power slugs or power crystals to overclock your, your factory and many, many, many other different things. So once you get the MAM, you're able to research um, different items in the game. So when you get the green power slug, you can research it. And what that does is it gives you a blueprint, which allows you to get power shards. Now these power shards are really cool because once you get them, you can bring them over to your buildings and then you can put them in and then you can actually overclock them as well so you see right now we have four megawatts is what's needed for power and it takes four seconds to produce 15 per or to produce one so we're going to come through we need to grab some iron ingots here we're going to put this in so now we get 22.5 per minute and it takes 2.7 seconds to create one so it's really nice especially when you get later on in your factory and you're getting assemblers and you're getting manufacturers and you want to speed up how fast you're creating stuff these are really nice really nice to have so next we're going to go through and how you can find these power slugs so the power slugs are just littered throughout the map there are many different locations um, some of them can be kind of hard to get some of them are actually really really easy to get the best way to find these, uh, what I do is normally when my factory is kind of creating certain resources, that way I can upgrade to the next tier. Um, I'll go through and I'll just search the map. And the, the biggest thing to give away if there's a power slug nearby is that there's gonna be a sound. Also, there may be creatures around them um, that will attack you. So if you normally see a lot of different creatures around in an area, there's usually one of two things. Usually it's either a power slug is nearby or there is an artifact nearby. Now the artifacts right now, they can't be uh, researched. Uh, that's going to be coming later, but you can see that there's these little trees that spew gas. If you see a lot of those, normally there's a power slug nearby as well. Now, these things are pretty evil. They will drop out some gas if you stand too close to them for a certain amount of time and you end up taking damage. So. If you see a lot of those in a certain area, again, one of two things, power slug is nearby or there are artifacts. So we just got a power slug right there. <clears throat> so that's really easy to find them. And again, these are, are littered all over the map and they're honestly, they're very, very, very easy to find. And they give out a certain noise uh, when, when you're pretty close to them. And there's a, there's a lot of them nearby. Again, I I'd search everything. I'll go through caves, and again, caves give. I I found purple ones in caves. So if you find a cave, be sure to go check it out. You'll find green power slugs in there, yellow. Uh, hopefully, you get lucky and you find a purple one. So once we grab that power slug, all you got to do is once you research it, and again, you can research them pretty early. So you can research them in tier one, overclock production. And what it does is it gives your buildings the ability to be overclocked and it gives you the ability to create power shards 
So you just come in here, you find your power shard, and you just craft it, easy enough. And then you just go over, put it into your building, and you can just overclock it, which is really, really cool. Um, there are some, some caution to these as well. It does increase your power output, so you wanna make sure your power grid, you're gonna have enough power to overclock your buildings because um, the worst thing you want to do is overclock your buildings and then all of a sudden everything goes down you blow a fuse and you got to build you know more uh, generators and all that kind of stuff so just make sure you got enough power before you overclock also if you have buildings that require a lot of power to start they jump up exponentially so just be careful be careful with uh, what buildings you're overclocking uh, but yeah that is how you overclock your buildings. Super easy. These things are all over the map. Hopefully you have fun. Hopefully you enjoy the game. Um, I am absolutely loving this game. I just really, really enjoy it. But yeah, that's it for me. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Also hit the subscribe button. Trigger those notifications. Also, if you're thinking about buying this game, we do have an Epic Game Trader code. It is code AM. I'll leave it in the description below. Please use that code in the store. Uh, I, would, I would definitely really appreciate that. But yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully I see you in the next video. If I don't, have a great day, afternoon, or evening. Like always, stay safe, stay gorgeous, and we'll see you all next time.